way uh, horizontally and also push down. So, <clears throat> so one is, is, um, is not very practical to have some kind of like device that just immediately sends the force applied on the food and apply the equal opposite force. That's kind of ludicrous. So the, my uh, immediate reaction is having friction because friction is one of those forces that only present when an external force is exerted. So, so my idea right now is having friction hold this room together. So my next step is obviously trying, trying the idea out. As you can see here with my first iteration, I still have this iteration here. Now, uh, at this time, I had like nothing uh, because this, this apartment is a place I normally only sleep in. I don't actually live here during the semester, so I just have nothing around. I did have tinfoil though, so I made sound like a very preliminary step with the returns of holder here. As you can see, the idea is that it will be just two block that just kind of clamp down and then providing and then just kind of hold it so in place as you can see it's uh, <laughs> it kind of the good thing is it kind of works All right i i am able to do the motion and it does feel more intuitive than the other device but but there are, i immediately identify a lot of issues. The first, the first issue is in terms of sliding. Um, we need to have a way to prevent you from so from just slide all the way you want. And then we need to also figure out the way to easily put the utensil inside the holder while preventing the utensil from sliding. And then the next problem is we need the stable handhold. And right, right now with this, with this iteration, the handle is just like one strap, which is not very stable. Then <clears throat> the next thing I noticed is that while I'm eating sometimes, the handhold kind of gets in the way, which is problematic. And obviously, aluminum foil is not nearly doable enough. So with those in mind, I, <clears throat> I actually wanted to des design something that works. So in Blender, I have this artistic rendering of this, uh, I guess, dream device that I designed. Now with this device, it's held together by springs. And then the holder itself, you kind of have to pry it open. And then it kind of, kind of just close down and hold it so in place. Now, one thing I wasn't sure at this point is that how the how the plate or the main board, on, if it fits on the palm, palm or the face on the back of the hand. So to test that, I actually um, designed two paper prototypes. And as you can see here, are you seeing this? Um, it may be kind of laggy, but it's filmed in 60 FPS. It's showing like 15 FPS. But with the first iteration, I had the I had the plate like on, fit on the back of my hand, and it's held together by paper clips and rubber bands. Now uh, it is kind of wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. But but the good news is it does work somewhat. As you can see, when I'm trying to spoon up the popcorn here, the device was kind of was kind of wobbly and I was having a little trouble just picking up pop course. So, so I decided maybe this orientation is not the best way. So, so the next time I switched orientation and I added some more stuff because the cardboard was starting to bend. So with this iteration here on the palm, uh, I, I am able to spoon up this bowl of chili with little to no difficulty. Now, chili is a little bit different from popcorns, but I, but I imagine this is not some like very soupy food. It's actually
actually kind of viscous. So with that determined that <clears throat> I want the plate to actually fit on the palm, I <clears throat> so I was very happy, but there are also some immediate problems to be addressed. Right now, uh, at that stage, it's very difficult to put a spoon in because your spoon is held together by this paper clip, which, if, if you can see, only has a very limited contact point, and that made it a pretty much a, uh, like uh, as if I'm playing magic or something. I have to be very precise to be able to have the spoon clamp on. And then, even so, <clears throat> Even, even if I, in my dream version, where I have the thing pretty much just clamped down on the spoon like this, I didn't consider the potential breakage of the material because if the spring were to hold the spoon very firmly in place, I have to uh, I have the equal amount of effort to pry it open. So that may cause the material to break. And also spring in general is kind of hard to work with without like actual testing. I have to determine the amount of forces applied and everything is just kind of a, a mess. And the final point I noticed is that the whole thing is too big. Uh, there was one time when I was trying to go for the bottom of the bowl and it did get uh, in the way. So that, so, <clears throat> so those are some of the problems that I'm trying to, that I was trying to address the next step when I was, when I'm trying to design, actually print this in CAD. And that's when the reality kind of kicked in. So this next iteration, I took inspiration from two different things. I have uh, this snack clips and dovetail joints. Snack clips is, is one of those clips that kind of just clip down uh, the, force distribution is kind of uniform. And the idea with the dovetail joint is that I want to have the, this holder piece here. I want to be able to switch it out for different utensils, even during eating. So, so those two together uh, came, to, came to this iteration of the design. Now, uh, unfortunately, even with the foresight of testing, like, testing like how much tolerance we are putting to the dovetail joint, as you can see here. On the testing unit, the dovetail joint fits pretty loosely. I, I can like I can practically like shake it off. But unfortunately with the real model here, it just stuck. <laughs> like very stuck. I I cannot take it off. This have, may have something to do with the there are two dovetail joints, but Regardless, even if this worked, there is an immediate problem that it would break because right now the whole idea of uh, clamping down utensil relied upon relied upon <clears throat> having this joint kind of bent and then clipping it down. So the utensil fits in here. I unclip it, fits in here and then I clamp it down. Now, if you're using this, you can, if you're using this like two to three times a day, every day, you are essentially bending this plastic like multiple times every day, which I did not see as a problem, but uh, with the help of feedback, I did realize is a, it can be a huge issue. So my, um, so my immediate reaction of how to fix this is replace this piece with a hinge. Uh, however, because this whole uh, device is so small, the only hints that I can find will actually fit requires some either very strong glue or some very intricate design that uh, is probably not good to do with the level of 3D printing we have. So, so with that in mind, I kind of just have to change it a little bit. Now here's the second iteration of the design, as you can see here. Now I have uh, made the bottom part of the holder just completely part of the main whole thing itself. 
the only moving part now is the top part of the holder, which still have the two dovetail joints. I increased the tolerance even more, but it still didn't really work. I practically have to hammer this in. Uh, but right, as you can see right now, I cannot take it out. But if the dovetail joint did work, the idea is that uh, you would be held together by a thumb screw at the end here. It would just kind of hold it in. So, so here's the me. So here's some another demonstration of me eating. I think this is a bowl of curry. Now, um, now this actually works pretty well, except for the fact that I have the Velcro strap slot a little bit too low here. So it actually didn't fit the shape of my palm. Uh, it was kind of sliding around a little bit when I was spooning this foot up, as you can see here, I was having a little bit of difficulty. However, the holder itself is very, very stable. And um, so this, so this, with this iteration of the design, um, I did solve the problem of stability. Now, uh, the, the spoon holds in there very, fits in there very, very well. Like, with normal eating patterns, there's no way this can be shaked off. Uh, this is also thanks to the non-slip strips I put in there. This not only gives some like wiggle room for the shape of return, so it actually provides a lot of friction. So <clears throat> it's stable, it is compatible for different shape of spoon uh, utensils. However, it, the dovetail joint still didn't work as I would want it to. Uh, for obvious reasons, uh, it kind of, I was imagining I can just have a kind of semi-tight fit around here, but it did not work out that way. It just did not even work out. Uh, and another thing I did not consider is potential breakage. Uh, right now at this stage, it's held together by the thumb screw at the end, which if you screw it on too tight, I do imagine the act the access force on this side would eventually cause it to break. So, 